Hello and welcome member GSS Server Project 3 Create Conditional Access Policy and here in this project we're going to use the GSS resources, GSS server, you know the GSS machines to show this another Azure based exercise and different tasks to how to allow this conditional access policy and how it get implemented on the work group client machine the machine that is not on the premises active directory but is still you can make it a part of a zero active directory so let's move to the JSS resources here I'm going to use the help desk machine for this module so let's click to the connect and make it full screen and here we're going to join this machine to the Azure Active Directory. Now it requires few moments to proceed your request. So here you have two options. So select the top one, join Azure Active Directory. And here let's get you sign in. Just type the email address. So I'm gonna type so the account I specially created for this module, JSSP1 at JSS dmv2 dot on microsoft dot com then click next and here's time for the password so let me type the right one and click to sign in now after this process your machine is doing what it is joining the zero active directory and then you can easily log out from this admin account and log into the Azure Active Directory so there you go and let's click to join and the suite that it is setting up your device so there you go device is connected let's click done and then you're gonna see this connected GSSP1 now let's sign out from this admin account and now we need another machine to configure some settings on the Azure portal so let me close this one and open our previous help desk machine and there I'm going to do what first let's close this one and open the Microsoft Edge and here we're going to use this machine for Azure configuration for this directly involved with the Azure Active Directory so let's launch the Microsoft Edge browser from the start menu so here I'm going to type portal.zero.com and then it will took us here and let me log in with this account so it's time to type the password to get in advance Azure Active Directory settings so let make it full screen and go to the Zero Active Directory and let's type here conditional access so there you're gonna find a 080 conditional access so click to that feature that app and here click to the new policy from the option and once you click it you're gonna find this fill in boxes so here we're going to name it as exchange online access because we're going to show you this mode this policy that won't allow to do some exchange stuff like the accessing of office 365 that's why we name it like that then go to the assignment now here click to zero users and group selected and then it will show you this option to select users and group and then then select users and group and here you're going to select this one the GSSP one that I created for this task and then select that user and if you scroll down you're gonna find this user as selected so after providing the user let's go back to the policy and here click to the no cloud apps or action and here leave it to none then oops from here under include click to the select app and then just 
scroll down and leave it to none and then type don't select from the list and then type office exchange there you go office 365 exchange online this is the product that we want to add so after confirming and be sure then select and go back to the policy and then you're gonna find this office 365 exchange online is selected here then go to the conditions and there you go zero conditions are selected so go to the device platform and it is configured to know make it to yes and select the device platform in which is the windows then click to done now after configuring that click to under the access control go to the grant and select the block access and then select this settings and for this scroll down and under the enable policy click to on and click create so in a few minutes you're gonna find a successful message that tells that is created and here the exchange online access state is on which means this policy is on and working and it is start blocking that access which we're going to block and provide the specific user who wouldn't would not and will not have access to the exchange online so let's move to that part now here we're going to provide this regular user the global administrator rights to check things that whenever this user will use the administrator app so whether it get the access or not so here on the zero active direct go to roles and administrator and there you're gonna find that these are the roles so scroll down and select the global administrator role from here go to that role and then okay so it is open and then click to plus add assignment and here select the user whom you want to assign this role so here select the member and it's your GSSP1 this specific user and then click next because you assign that role and click to assign now here in a while you're gonna find this user here on the group administrator okay so we provide successfully the group administrator role but here let's assign the global administrator role to this user now there you go we have only admin and Ali here so click to add assignment and there we're going to select the member then select this GSSP1 and select then click next and click to assign then you're gonna find this new account here along with these two users so you're gonna find your new user into the eligible assignment and now it's time to just verify things and we are about to log in to the help desk machine on the zero account so let me close this one and log in the help desk machine which is already on the login mode and here I'm gonna select other user and there I'm gonna type GSSP1 at GSS DMV2 dot on Microsoft dot com and then the password and there you go it is preparing the stuff preparing the Windows desktop for a 080 experience and you will see in a minute that how your system looks like once it log on to a zero active directory so they are getting stuff ready for you so this is the Azure requirement the organization requirement the zero active directory requirement 
to set up this thing because if you are assigning your machine for the user so you can set up with different security settings so here you can simply skip all this process and directly make it straight to your desktop so right now I'm doing that and clicking on skip for now so here you are log into Azure Active Directory and there we're going to enable the proxy in this connection so let's go to the internet and network settings and there we're going to access the ethernet and then we're going to enable the proxy settings so I guess okay so there are the proxy setting here and let's toggle on and type proxy a080 and then click to save now we're going to do what we're going to verify and validate this whole settings and configuration and the conditional access so on the same machine we're going to open the Microsoft Edge and there we're going to validate whether this exchange online access has been blocked or not so here it is the welcome screen of the Microsoft Edge because you're logging on Azure first time that's why it required this setup but let's skip this for now and type here portal dot office dot com enter so here there's no internet connectivity so let me turn off the proxy and see alright so there you go it is working and before that let me show you a major step like in on-premises active directory we have what the GP update command and why we use it that command whenever we configure new policies we try to implement different settings from the domain controller we run what the GP update command to fully sync the client and server and whatever is in the middle or reaching towards the client machine will we are making sure by running this command that it is reached and implemented so same in the Azure Active Directory we have this GP update kind of thing but which is what it is the sync button and where you're gonna find it just try to access your work or school and there you're gonna find your Azure Active Directory info click to that info and click under the device sync status to the sync so it will start syncing your device to the active directory and what are the latest profiles policies each and everything it will sync to the zero active directory cloud and it will take a little time but once it sync you will find out the new time here after the date so let's wait for this process and there you go it is successfully synced and there you go these are the details and all this stuff you can easily sync whenever you configure new thing whenever you plan anything on the zero active directory and you want the implementation just simply came here in sync now here let's log into the zero portal and I'm going to use the GSS P1 at GSS DM v2 dot on microsoft dot com then click next and here we're going to type the password so let's type the credentials and get access and here it's going to log in us to this office portal and now for validation we're going to click here and these are the office products but as you know that this is not your global admin account that's why you enable to see in access the admin center here 
So once you find that this account is not having the option, so let's refresh this axis and then click here. So then you're going to find this admin option. So click to the admin and then it will open all the managing portal and areas where you can easily set up things for your office environment. Now here click to these three lines and expand the show all. Click to the show all. Scroll down and select exchange. So there you go. You cannot access this right now. Why? Because we add this in the conditional access and we block this user to get access to the office exchange online services. So that is the validation and verification of this module and you will get the same response and let me show you one more thing if you are getting challenged while assigning global administrator roles so let me show you something in more detail that go to the active directory and here go to the role in administrator and let's find the one which one the global administrator for this specific module so while assigning you need to be sure that let's say if I'm going to sign and selecting this user let's say for example and here if you go with the eligible one it will not lie in the active global administrator section so you need to make check on the active one and then you're gonna find your account here under the list so that's all about this whole module. I hope you understand and grasp the stuff and the concept. And once you apply this whole learning into your own Azure Active Directory and in your own machine, so you will better, there's a chance you will better learn and better explore the whole module. So stay with us, keep watching. Thanks.